Hmm. This is the first time I'm doing this. <laughs> Um, it says orientation is locked. Rotate the device back. Right. Well, I wish it let me do this before I started. Okay. Can we go that way? No. Why doesn't it let you? <laughs> no. Oh, no. Okay. Why doesn't it let me go landscape? Don't know why it won't let me go landscape. Oh, great. Okay. Well, this is so professional. Let me, um, let me try and figure this out. This is my first time going live on YouTube, but... It's not liking it. Good morning, Leona. Um, can you guys see me in portrait or landscape? Um, ugh. Right. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure it out. I thought I'd get ready with you this morning, but it won't let me go landscape. So we're portrait. <laughs> can you see me in portrait or landscape? Portrait. Good morning, everyone. Oh, well, there's quite a few of you here. Um, I haven't shared anywhere that I'm going live, so I don't know how many. Okay, we're just going to roll with it. Um, okay, <laughs> I don't know how to make it landscape so that if people watch this back, it's not going to be right. But that's fine. We've spent a minute and a half trying to figure it out, so we're just going to roll with it. Um, good morning, everyone. How are you all? Hi, Hayley. Hi, Molly. Lauren. Um, it's been ages since I've been live, so I just thought we would have a little chit chat um, while I get ready. Um haven't done anything. Look at my hair. So actually this may be harder than I thought. I thought there weren't going to be many of you. I didn't think there'd be many people chatting. Um, and I've already misplaced my hair straightener, so that's a good start. Good start, good start. Um, what's everyone up to today? How is everyone? Hi from Australia. Oh my gosh, hi Izzy. Um, my dress, <laughs> my dress is from uh, Marks and Spencer's actually. It was like uh, 20 something pounds. It was quite affordable actually. If you open it up landscape, it fills the whole screen. Hmm. Yeah, it won't let me do landscape. So we're just going to roll with it in portrait and I'll speak to my contact at YouTube and ask if she will help me figure out how to do that. You know, we're learning. I've been doing this job 11 years and I still, still don't know. Um, anyway, Oh, let's read what you're up to today. Going to be writing my uni essay today. Oh, I hope that goes okay. Um, what did that one say? Oh my gosh, it's going quite fast. Uh, going pumpkin picking. Pumpkin, pumpkin picking. Why was that hard to say? In the new forest. Oh, have a great time, Jenny. Um, if you have an iPhone, swipe from the top right and there is a button that has a padlock with a swell. No, that's not it. It's YouTube that's not liking it. It says that I can't have it landscape. My actual lock is not locked if that makes sense um chill day with family i'll oh, have a good time Nina. emily i'm currently collecting my wedding rings today getting married earlier next year oh my gosh congratulations how was that experience getting wedding rings can't imagine what i'm gonna have yet um what's lovely bonnie girl how oh where's lovely bonnie girl she's just been out on a board with bonnie actually they've just walked in hi how was it you're wet you're wet <laughs> i don't know if you can see her hold on Hang on, do you want to say hello? There she is. Good morning. You're wet. She's been out of bench. Um, right, I'm very aware that I want to put some dry shampoo in and get straightening my hair. Why is this not on? Oh, it is. There you go. Um, I am using this Batiste one. That's actually, it's quite nice, actually. It's one that doesn't leave, like, too many white bits, but I'm probably going to put it up in a ponytail anyway. But, um... Off to York. It's my birthday on Halloween. Oh, happy, happy birthday. Hope you have a great time. Heading to Costco. Oh, I want to go to Costco. I've never been to Costco. I feel like that's a crime, right? Um, food shopping and other shopping for pretty things, clothes and makeup. Oh, that sounds lovely, uh, Rose. Have a great day. Um, do you have a video for nervous flyer tips? I'd love to go to Disney, but fear of flying is stopping me. Um, I don't think I do, do I? I don't think I do. I know I've done a video on long haul tips or flying tips. So maybe search Brogan Tape flying or flight and I might have covered things in that and that might give you some reassurance. Um, yes, I am preparing for my cruise trip. I have talked about this on Instagram and in my recent vlog, but yes, all this is packing. <laughs> um, 
can only mean one thing. Yes, that's right. I'm packing. This time next week, we'll be on a cruise, which is wild, isn't it? We're going to the Caribbean. I have so many things to say about that. Like, what? <laughs> We're going to the Caribbean. It honestly doesn't feel real yet. Um, but yes, I have started packing. Um, it's my best friend's daughter's wedding today. Oh, have a lovely day. Getting ready for that. Oh, that sounds lovely. Um, BA does a nervous flyer course that completely prepares you. Oh, that's interesting. That's really interesting. Coil update. Um, there isn't much of an update. I've had my coil for like, mm, I've got the Marina coil. I've had it for, <sighs> I want to say three years now three years um and so far i'm happy with it um there like there really isn't any updates no no periods no pain no pregnancies no nothing it's just yeah doing its job very happy um are those cloud nine shirts they are i've had them for quite a while they're like the wide ones um i have another pair actually i think i've packed them um, that I got from Remington recently that are very good, but I've packed them. So, well, packed, you can see they're, they're in a bag <laughs> somewhere on the bed. Um, thank you so much to all of you for coming and saying good morning. Uh, it's my first YouTube live stream, so I just thought I'd see how it goes. Uh, I'm ready to go to Oxford, curl my hair, it feels so big. Oh, have a lovely time. Uh, what am I up to today? I am up to nothing, actually. Um, we've got a very chill day. Benji's just walked Bonnie. I am going to do some work, actually. I was going to try and film Disney Dreamlight Valley for you because a lot of you have asked about that. But I'll be honest, I'm having a lot of technical glitches. So I may need to speak to my brother or my friend Bianca, who's a bit more um, stream savvy than me. Wow, look at this hair. Uh, but that's what I was going to try and do anyway. Um, uh, da, 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 uh, I've got the Remington Shine Therapy Strainers. Oh, are they any good? They sound good. Uh, would you rate these my GHD dyes? Yes, I do. I do have, <laughs> my GHDs were like 12 years old and I actually didn't throw them away because they were literally on their last legs. Where are they? Here they are. Um, they have, they have the electrical tape everywhere. So I did replace them for the Cloud Nines a few years ago um, because I, I believe they're owned by the same company. I might be wrong, but um they're good. They're, they're good. They're nice. I actually think I might like the Remington ones a bit better though. Um, but yeah, I bought these a while ago and they, they're good. Not much more to say. <laughs> when are you going to Disney? We are heading off to Walt Disney World at the beginning of December, which is very exciting. Um, yeah, four years in, a ma in the making that trip is. So um, I was obviously very lucky to go out there earlier this year, but Benji hasn't been in four years. So he's very excited. Did you have a nice time looking at wedding dresses? How exciting. I did. Thank you, Sarah. If any of you saw my Instagram stories yesterday, I went wedding dress shopping. Can you believe it? I actually found my wedding dress yesterday. I think we didn't buy it yesterday because I wanted the chance to sleep on it over the weekend and I wasn't going to rush into such a big decision, you know. So I think it's the one. I'm pretty confident it's the one. I cried when I tried it on. But I don't know, part of me is like conflicted because I'm like, well, that's easy, that's done. But the other half of me is like, well, I'm not going to have that experience anymore. It's kind of over, right? Um, but yeah, it was great. Oh, we're talking about hair straighteners still. Which Remington ones did you get? Very excited for your cruise. Um, they were actually very kindly gifted to me, so I don't know oh, the name of them. Should we have a look? Let's see if they've got a name on them. Uh, hmm. Remington, obviously. <laughs> uh, do they have a name? Remington. Damn it, they don't have a name. Sorry, I don't know the name and I don't have the box. Um, but let me dig into... My friend Lara has a pair too, so I'll ask her and I'll get back to you on that one. Um, so the brothers who started GHD sold it and then started Cloud9. There we go. That answers my question. So it's the same people, essentially, that started GHD. Um, my hair's a little bit greasy today, but we're just going to roll with it. Um, did Benji love the dress too? I mean, it would be a bit sad if he didn't love the dress, wouldn't it? <laughs> it wouldn't have been the right dress if he didn't love it too. But yes, he did love it. And my mum loved it. 
And yeah, I think I'll talk about the whole experience in another vlog at some point. But um, I was going to do a vlog where I showed you all the reject dresses, like all the dresses that I didn't, I tried on are uh, not the one. But I'll be honest, they're all very, very similar. Like they literally, ugh, they all look the same. So, because I very clearly like knew what I wanted. So I'm, I don't think I'm going to do that video for now. I'll have to rethink. Um, and I could always try someone again just for a video for you that are completely different. But I don't know, it kind of defeats the point, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, I did vlog it all though, and it was an amazing experience. Um, Nicola said, I got the first dress I tried on and I knew it before I even put it on. I tried on others just to be sure, but I just knew. It was like when you buy a house, your gut tells you it's right. So true. It's so true. I knew immediately. It was the first one I tried on. And it's quite funny because in the clips, Benji says, um, in the video clips, he says something like, all right, that's it. We're done then. I was like, already? <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> and we were kind of half joking, but... Um, now watching it back, I'm like, well, yeah, it was the one. <laughs> it was such a fun experience. So lucky to have uh, been able to take and Benja, my mum. It was it was really really lovely, and the bridal shop were really nice. The um, consultant I had was like had such good energy. She made me feel really comfortable. I was a bit worried like how I'd feel about that, but you know, she was amazing. Um, uh, it's nice to see you full of life again. It's like having the old broken back. Oh, thank you. Um. Yeah, the, it's been highs and lows, you know, like all things in life. I don't tend to share too much of the lows. Um, but I have, yeah, I have been very stressed recently, but we're not going to dwell on that today. Um, what else? Do you have any more plans for house renovations? Uh, not right now. We do want to do the downstairs bathroom, but uh, no major plans. So we're putting that on hold for a little bit while we do wedding planning. All our money is going into that for now obviously paying off the wedding um just saw you were live love your content oh thank you um i know you're going overseas for the wedding but bonnie would have been the cutest ring bearer i know i know well we'll have to do something when we come back eh we'll have to do something when we come back um this is a surprise. Oh, thanks for joining, Elle. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I don't even know how to do YouTube Lives. I don't know how to make it landscape. So I don't even know if this will stay up on my channel. So, you know, if you're here, you're here. If you're not, you're not. <laughs> um, I'm not ch chatting about anything of um, much substance, but, you know, we're just having a chit chat. Um, are you doing anything different on your Disney trip? Are we doing anything different? um we're doing a few different restaurants we're doing a different hotel we're doing pop century all the restaurants we're doing are new to us bar tepanido is not new for me but the rest of them are new um quite a few new rides for benj he's not done rise of resistance mickey and minis um guardians what else will be new other than that i think that's about it really um have you had any negative family reactions to having a wedding abroad? No, absolutely none. I thought we may have to contend with some of that, but actually our family have been really supportive. And I don't know whether that's because like our parents are of a different generation. They got married a long time ago and, you know, they look back at what they had in comparison. But um, our families, particularly both our mums, have been amazing. So lucky to have that support because I thought it would be a bit difficult to navigate but it wasn't at all I'm so lucky um so I'm gonna put my makeup on chat to you while I do this um but we'll see where the comments gone oh there they are any Halloween plans no um I have just got loads of sweets in for the trick-or-treaters and I might decorate the front of the house but last year we did the whole like pumpkin picking and what else did we do? We had like a whole day out. I filmed it, I think. But this year we're not we're not doing anything. We were invited to a Halloween party, but we're trying to like lay low a little bit before we go on our cruise because, you know, I don't need to explain why. <laughs> um, we are going for a family meal in a couple of hours and then off pumpkin picking. And then tomorrow we are carrying on with decorating our first baby's nursery. We have four months left. <gasps> Congratulations, Ashley. Um, wow, have a lovely day. That sounds, sounds like a very nice autumn, aut autumnal day. Um, what else? Did you carve a pumpkin? I didn't. I haven't gone pumpkin picking this year. I'm not doing pumpkins this year. 
um, just because I don't, I don't really eat any, any of the pumpkin and I don't know, I don't know. I don't need to do it every year. It doesn't phase me that much. I'm kind of in the Christmas spirit, guys. So I'm kind of waiting for Halloween to pass. <laughs> um, do you have any restaurant recommendations for Universal? We've only ever eaten at Cowfish um, at Universal City Walk. And then inside the parks, we've had like some quick service stuff. But um, I love Cowfish. That's our favourite. We're going back there again. So yeah, it's like a sushi and burger place. But I remember our meal being amazing and Benji loved it. So that's where we're going. Um, are you going to share which country you're getting married in soon? Yes, beginning of next year. Just want a few more months to iron out all the details, but we will share it with you all soon. Um, we've been engaged almost two years, but I'm finding it so hard to even begin planning a wedding. Yeah, we have no idea what we want. I think that's okay to not know what you want. Um, the minute we started going to wedding shows and fairs and stuff, it made it very obvious to us what we did and didn't want. So maybe that's a good place to start. Um, and also when you start going to more weddings yourself, uh, you, you get a, more of an idea of what you want to. Oh, that is, oh, there you go. Uh, what other questions? Have you got any Christmas trips planned this year? We're doing Walt Disney World beginning of December. So that's our big Christmas trip this year. Normally we go skiing, but, um, we're doing Disney this year for a change. Uh, what foundation do you use? Would you recommend? Oh, um, <laughs> so I'm not doing a very good job showing you, am I? I am using L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. It was gifted to me about two weeks ago and it's quite nice. Um, I've put too much concealer on. Let's blend that out. Yeah, it's okay. It's nice. I like it. I can't really comment on it yet because I've not used it for very long and I don't wear makeup every day. So I'm only put, putting makeup on because I'm hoping to film a video for you today if all goes to plan. If not, I'm going to get back in my pyjamas and have a cosy day on the sofa. Um, I've put foundation on the camera, on the screen now. Oh gosh. Uh, not far away from 100k. I know, right Pete? How exciting is that? I'm like not thinking about it too much because it's been 11 years and I've always wanted to hit that goal, but every subscriber counts so if you're new please subscribe <laughs> um do you mind when people come say hi in the disney parks feel like you're a friend if i see you i need to say hello oh, i love when people come and say hello to us it is honestly such a joy sometimes we have to be like speedy because we're on the way to a reservation or a ride um time or whatever but a lot of the time it kind of breaks up the trip for us because we spend so much time together it's quite refreshing when people come and chat to us and they give us recommendations or tell us what they loved or yeah it's always so nice to hear how you found my channel and we take pictures and makes me feel very special <laughs> it's very sweet so yes please always say hello to us uh favorite book you've read so far <sighs> i think it's got to be the seven husbands of evelyn hugo if i'm honest i know that's really like cliche and everyone's read it but i did love it um also I had my eyebrows microbladed I'm getting the top up done when I come back from the cruise and I'm missing like a tight I don't know if you can see it. I just need it like slightly filled in on the top there this side's kind of fine but I am currently just filling them in ever so slightly just to fill in that gap but once they get topped up they won't need filling in anymore um but yeah I'm loving the microbladed brows why didn't anyone tell me to do that sooner love them uh what else did you say we you making video uh detail will you be making a video detailing disney pin trading how to most sought after etc um i've not thought about it honestly because i just do it really casually for fun i am um, any pins that i have that i'm just not that like fond of anymore or like got in a mystery pack or whatever i just i like to hunt out the pin locations and then see if they have anything but i'm not really like a massive pin person in terms of i don't know which ones are sought after and yeah i i'll guess i'll show it in the vlogs but other than that it's not my forte i'm afraid uh which hotel are you staying with disney we're staying in pop century which i've never stayed in before but i was absolutely sold on the idea of the skyliner so the minute i used the skyliner on my last trip i was like oh my gosh yes it has to be pop have you been watching anything good on netflix recently um netflix i talked about a show we've been watching called easy bake which is like a 
cooking competition show that we loved with um, Anthony from Queer Eye. But other than that, we really loved The Capture season two on BBC iPlayer. I finished that recently. It was very good. Uh, it's really annoying. YouTube just hides the comments. So I have to keep touching the screen. Uh, will you go skiing next year? I'm a ski racer from Brighton. Oh, wow. How amazing. Um, ski racer. That's so cool, Elsa. Uh, we have no plans to go skiing at the moment, but we would love to get back out there. It's crazy. The season comes around so quickly and you can only really ski from like, well, where we go skiing. It's like December to March-ish. And we already have quite a lot of other things going on this year. So, or this season. So I don't know, maybe... Maybe if we can. Probably not, though. Um, which cruise did you prefer? We have our first cruise on Iona in the fjords in April. Excited but ner nervous. Wondered if we would like it. Oh, um, I'm assuming you mean in comparison to the Caribbean because I've also done Greece. Uh, so this coming up will be my fourth cruise, but my fifth trip with P&O because I did Tenerife as well recently, but I wasn't on a cruise. And I think... Oh, it's hard for me to say. The Caribbean and the fjords are not really comparable because they're just such different trips. But I honestly loved the fjords so much, much more than I thought I would actually. It was so peaceful, so relaxing, like being out in nature, being in the fjords, sailing in. It was amazing. Like I really felt like it was one of those things you have to experience and it was done best via a cruise because you could, well, sailing in was just so cool. Um, so yeah, I really loved that trip. But the Caribbean is, it's very different. It's very different, but it's also amazing. Like swimming with turtles and Caribbean food and the sunshine. Oh, I'm just so excited that we get to do it again. Um, but they're both amazing. So I hope you have an amazing time. Let me know how you get on. And April's a really good time to go because it's kind of like, it's it's sunny. Like it's it's springtime, so it's pretty. Oh, my friend Bianca's here. Hi, B. I need your help this morning, B, if you're watching, because I wanted to film Disney Dreamlight Valley and I'm still having lots of technical glitches. So if you are available, I may be sliding into WhatsApp and asking for some support, please. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what else? Do you do both parks in Disneyland California in one day? Yeah, you can do if you want to. They are small enough. Uh, you won't be able to do everything, obviously, but it's possible. Sorry, I have to keep touching the screen. It's super annoying. I'm not used to this. Would you ever get a brother or sister dog or cat for Bonnie? No, Bonnie is massively a solo dog. Anyone that knows her or spent time with her, she's really good with other dogs. Like she loves other dogs. And she's been and stayed with Benji's mum who has other dogs. And we had her with Bucky, Bianca's dog for a week too. And they were fine. But she's very much loves being the only dog in the house. So we have to respect that. Um... So probably not right now. Although we did love having Bianca's cat. That was really fun. Um, is there a good time of year to look at Shop Disney for sales? I'm going on my first Disney trip next year. So excited. Gail, they kind of do sales all the time. So I would just like constantly keep an eye out because they constantly do discounts and they have an outlet. If you type in Shop Disney outlet, it will bring up the web page and there's always stuff on there. Um but I wouldn't say there's necessarily a good time of year per se, because they're always, oh, that's the doorbell. Hopefully Benji can get that. Um, I have to drive in less than 40 minutes for two hours, but I can help you after. Okay, thank you, babes. Oh, yeah, Bonnie's trying to tell us. Benj! Benj! Oh no, chaos. Oh no. Where's Benj? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's Benj. <laughs> what happened? I thought it was the, I thought it was the, oh, thank you. I'm on a live stream. I got you live stream juice. But you didn't, um, you didn't take a key. No. I was like, why is he not getting the door? <laughs> <laughs> thank you for my coffee. No oh. <sighs> such a professional live stream <laughs> it didn't take a key um right now i have to set this all up again it took me a hot minute before oh there we go are we in um <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry about that i don't know what i've got i'm assuming it's a chai latte let's have a look oh yeah it is it's a chai latte um um oh <laughs> great brilliant um right where are the comments gone oh no uh, right. Sorry, let me pick up the comments. Are you watching Bake Off this year? Yes, I am. Love Bake Off. 
And I want to ask you, <laughs> if you're a theatre person, are you going to Bake Off the musical? Because <laughs> I want to go. I'm kind of tempted to put tickets for my birthday next year. But I love Bake Off. Um, this blooming thing, I need to speak to, I've got a contact at YouTube now, who I have like chats with. And I'm going to speak to her about a few things because the comments don't stay. How do you get them to stay? And it's not landscape. But anyway, we'll keep going. Um, how does Bonnie cope with fireworks? Hope she's okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> get my breath back. She is um, okay. We have, we bought her one of those um, special dog jackets that you put on that's meant to help with anxiety. But mostly we shut the curtains. We put on some like calming music to distract her and like block out the noise and yeah she likes to take herself away and go to sleep or she'll just sit with us um but she's getting better as the years go on but it's not great is it most pets don't like fireworks and loud bangs and stuff so not looking forward to bonfire night etc so yes hang on i need my i need to get new mascaras because i've got <laughs> my favorite mascara is benefit roller lash and they're real but i've had a bit of a situation where i haven't thrown away the old ones so recently i just bought a new one which is this rimmel kind and free but i always layer up my mascaras to make it nice and thick uh bake off the musical i didn't know that was a thing i would definitely go to that yes it is a thing it's a thing and yeah coming to london the tickets are out now so i'm kind of tempted to like give it a go but i don't know what it'll be like we'll find out uh did you get tickets for disney concert coming to bournemouth yes i did i did so let me take a sip of my coffee my lovely friend charlie was like i've just put tickets to the disney 100 concert in london if you fancy it and i was like yeah i fancy it and i was like how much are the tickets she was like they're about 80 pounds and i was like okay went to have a little look check my dms and i had like four dms from some of you saying run don't walk <laughs> um Disney 100's coming to Bournemouth so I was like okay uh Charlie I'm, I love you but I'm gonna have to sit in Bournemouth because that would just save me more money than having to travel all the way to London so yes I did book tickets can't believe it's coming to Bournemouth nothing comes to Bournemouth guys like okay that's a complete lie we have a, a an okay you know what's it called uh venue but nothing good comes not like that anyway um what else uh i'm in the central desert in australia i have been watching your disney vlogs help plan for my disney trip to europe in 2024 do you have any plans in to holiday in other parts of europe oh suzanne have an amazing time i don't have immediate plans because everything is quite like <laughs> apart from our wedding that we've booked everything is sort of you know last minute within a month or two although the cruise we've known about for a while actually but sometimes i get offers and opportunities to work on partnerships and projects um so we can't always necessarily always book our own trips because my schedule is all over the place sometimes but um no plans yet but i'd love to do a couple of city breaks with benj uh like amsterdam and i want to do barcelona um where else would we like to go i want to go to rome benji really wants to go to rome i've been to rome but he really wants to go uh i agree shelly maxi to win oh is in bake off oh i don't know who i want to win i don't know i like them all i think they're all deserving winners i don't want anyone to go now each week they can just come back and continue to bake um i love how you're chatting to each other oh my gosh it's amazing uh would benji ever film more videos he's so funny yes i mean he's going to be in the cruise vlogs coming up next week so well we're filming them next week he'll be in them so yeah, you'll see that. Oh, that coffee is so nice. What a nice surprise. Um, would you get tickets to ABBA Voyage, the Avatars? The ABBA show, is that the one where... No, that's Mamma Mia one, isn't it? I don't know what that one is. Maybe send me a link. I need to do the little like, pouty face <laughs> to put my bronzer on. Oh, it's amazing how like it all comes together, isn't it, with your makeup? Even though these lights are quite harsh. Okay, it's... Is that better? No. Whatever. Uh, have you tried using Skin and Me? I haven't yet. But my friend Bianca uses it and absolutely loves it. It's changed her skin. 
and who else did I see the other day that has loved it and used it? Uh, I know my friend Louise uses it, but I haven't tried it yet. Um, because honestly, I think you shouldn't fix something that's not broken. And my skin is quite good right now. I'm quite happy with my little routine. So I'm not currently looking to change it. Oh, I can't have to find anything. I really need to wash these brushes. I'm going to make that a job today. Like I've got all these foundation brushes that have been loved and need cleaning. Um, what else? Hi, Brogan. Thank you for your help the other day regarding editing software. My wife uh, got a conference back because of your vlogs. Oh, you're welcome. Feel free to DM me if you want any other help. Uh, would love to see some city break vlogs. One of my favourite types of trips and love seeing your travel content. Noted, Melissa. Thank you for sharing that because if you're interested in it, then that's good. I will try and prioritise some city breaks with Benj at some point. Uh, what scent of the world deodorant is your favourite? Started using it. Oh, I really like a lot of the limited edition ones that they they discontinue. Um, what have I got right now? My wild deodorant is in is in my bathroom. But I have another one over here somewhere. Uh, do I? Oh no, I took it to the I took it to the wedding shop yesterday, so it's in one of my bags. Um, but the toffee apple one is really nice. The watermelon is nice. Um, pina colada. That one was really nice. They're all limited edition though. Uh, we're going on Avia next August. Was hoping Pino would invite you on so you could vlog us. So we're going <laughs> to the Caribbean next week on Britannia to show what a Caribbean, sorry, this is now my little, um, to show what a Caribbean cruise is like right now and like what to expect and the different islands and excursions and all that jazz. However, I don't know, there might be an opportunity for us to also see Arvia next year. I'm not sure what that looks like yet, but I think p and Cruises are keen to show us um, Arvia. So yes, hopefully we'll be able to cover Arvia before your trip, Fiona, is the goal. Um, I second a City Break Vlogs Day. Uh, they would be great. Okay, great. Thank you for that. We will get on it. After Disney and cruises and all of that, <laughs> it's going to be a very busy few months on my channel. If you love Disney vlogs or cruise vlogs or both, then it's going to be a lot coming. Um, does this look okay? Hopefully. Do you have any idea where you'd like to go for your honeymoon? We do. Can't share it yet. <laughs> Don't want to share it yet, but we do know what we want. Yes. Mm. I will say it's not Disney. Um, would you do a Disney trip with Adam and Gary? Oh, I've shared this story before, so apologies if you've heard it, but we did actually have a trip booked in 2020 and 2021, and obviously it didn't work out. We had to cancel the whole thing. It was so sad because we fully had a trip booked for the three of us, and then we looked into rebooking it, but like with our schedules and stuff, they were going back to Walt Disney World quicker than me, and then I've got my trip, and we've kind of like fizzled to doing our own ones again, but yes absolutely would i love to do a trip with them because they're some of my closest friends i literally speak to gary like every day so i would absolutely love to do a disney trip with them yes uh brogan your makeup always looks fab oh thank you carla i don't know what i'm doing I'm just gonna put a bit of blusher on and then i'm pretty much done and i'll finish sorting out my hair don't know how long i've been live uh, oh it does say 30 minutes oh okay cool um let me just put my fix plus on that'll do that'll do i don't know what i'm doing on my lips yet because i still got quite sore like i had a massive eczema flare up on my lips so it's healing but you can see it's still a little bit sore so i don't really want to put too much uh lipstick and lip gloss on at the moment um how is this looking a little bit flat a little bit sad uh what can we do with this hair <laughs> um okay uh maybe we'll do a little twisty thing and pin it um hi Cl uh, uh not chloe shell hi i hope you're well lovely i'm good thank you how are you uh highly recommend edinburgh for a city break i really do want to do edinburgh i also would like to do well i would like to do scotland and i'd like to do ireland i haven't done either can you believe that I really need to fix that uh, we can't wait for your Christmas vlogs, especially for what Disney World on your cruise as we've got two children and we're looking to try and do something, Faye and Casey. Um, oh, hopefully my cruise vlogs might inspire you. Honestly, a cruise is just amazing. 
I'm super, super biased because I get to work with P&O Cruises, but I really love cruising, like love cruising. Um, will you go suit shopping with Benj? I will. I will go suit shopping with Benj and we'll bring his mum for that one. So we brought my mum to the dress and we'll bring his mum to the suits shopping experience. Why is that not staying? No, that's not a good bobby pin. I saw on Instagram a little hack where you put the bobby pin like in the bit here and then you twist it up and down so it like hides the clip. I don't know. <laughs> is, that, is that okay? Oh no. Oh no, what happened there? Okay, great. I mean, I should not do this live, should I? Uh, Favourite long lasting nail polish? Oh, I get gel now, so I don't have that many nail varnishes these days. Um, but should we have a little look at what I like? I would go for one of these brands. So I like uh, Mavala. I've been gifted these before and I've bought them before. Really good nail varnish. I need to fix this over here. We'll sort that in a minute. Sally Hansen. Love this one. Just says plant based. Vegan. Good, kind, pure. That's a good nail varnish. Oh, another Sally Hansen. This is the Instant Dry. You can see I've loved that. And this one I've been wearing on my toes throughout the summer. Um, and it's a Nails Ink one. Vegan, extremely long wear, cruelty free. They're the ones I'd go for. This is called the 73, oh, 73% plant power, long wear, 21 free. There we go. They're my nail varnishes that I'd go for if I was wearing nail varnish, but mostly I get gels. Um, honestly, there is somebody putting spam in here. How do we remove that? Goodbye. And also, you're gone. Cool. <laughs> Uh, went on a cruise on the British Isles this year, went across Ireland and Scotland. Oh, that's such a good idea. That's such a good idea. Do it in one. Love that. Uh, I did a Capino cruise around the UK and it was one of the best ones I've done. This is so many new and beautiful places all on our doorstep. Cruiser for life. Katie, that sounds amazing. I too am a cruiser for life now. I love cruising so much. It's such an amazing way to see so many great places, especially in the like Caribbean because there's so many islands and you kind of only need a day to like stop off see a bit you know I'm trying to do a little twisty thing and stay but look it's just not staying <laughs> uh we're going with piano to caribbean on friday you might see that <gasps> jeanette gonna be on the same cruise love that i've had a few people tell me they're gonna be on the same cruise which makes me so excited please do come and say hello if you see us or when you see us because it's a big ship but it's not that big but you do see people so do come say hello. I'm going to try another bobby pin. Um, let me have a little sip. Uh, heading to the Cotswolds next weekend for my birthday. Been watching your vlogs for inspo and going to go to the wildlife park with our dog. I cannot believe that we were able to do that. Take a dog to the zoo. So great. Uh, good morning, Brogan. Looking gorgeous as ever. Oh, Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's so kind. Um, just uh, my hair's a little bit greasy today, but... We move, I've straightened it and I'm just gonna pop my bobby pin in if it will stay. What's going on here? Honestly, I cannot do hair. Cannot do hair. Oh, what? Now I've got a bit of bobby pin just sticking out the top there, it's too big. Honestly, this is not meant to be this difficult. <laughs> uh, loving your dress, thank you. This is a Marks and Spencer dress. I will, when I come back to this, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it linked. Actually, I did link it on my Instagram the other day. Honestly. Um, off on my own, off for my own Costa. This was fun. Thank you, Brogan. Have a lovely day. Oh, thank you so much for joining. Enjoy your Costa. Uh, I did my first cruise this year on Disney around the British Isles. It was fantastic. Oh, do you know what? A few people have just said that, actually. So, hope you, uh, hope you had a good time. Um, hold on. I'm just trying to multitask and it's proving more difficult than I thought. Uh, I certainly will. We've been to Disney twice when we've been there, but never bumped into you. Oh, Jeanette, I'm sure we will bump into each other on the cruise. Um, especially on a sea day. Keep an eye out for us because we're constantly walking around doing things. So you'll probably see and hear us with the vlog camera first. You'll probably hear me chatting to a camera. Um, your hair is a beautiful colour. Oh, thank you, Zara. That's really nice of you. I've never, ever touched the colour of my hair. Like, never dyed it, never coloured it. Although I would quite like to add more red in it, actually. Like, I would like to add more red. This is, I'm making this more greasy than it needs to be now. I'm just going to do that. 
Does that, does that look fine? <laughs> I was going to do the same on the other side, but it's just not working out for me. I need a different bobby pin. I need to get some new bobby pins that aren't so big. Why are they all so big? Uh, what other questions have we got? In Australia, dogs are barely allowed to go anywhere. Dog beaches are rare. Oh, wow, really? Places to stay too. It's amazing to hear that it's normal there. We have dog-friendly beaches and areas of the beach. And during the winter months, the dogs can pretty much go everywhere, which is really cool. It's normally between like May and September time that they're not allowed in some areas, but which makes sense because it can be really busy on the beach. Um, but yeah, we have lots of dog-friendly places, but... Yeah, that's mad that it's not as dog friendly in Australia. Um, I'm late to the party. Where are you off to? Lovely, anywhere nice? No, I'm not going anywhere nice. I'm not doing anything today. There's loads of football on. So Benji wants to stay home and watch that. He's already walked to this morning and he went and got me a Costa, which was very sweet. So I've been sipping on that. Um, but I was going to film a Disney Dreamlight Valley video. What is this? Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. But I just thought I'd come and say hello. <laughs> My hair's too thick for bobby pins, so I use a claw clip, and even then they just don't stay. I know. It, do you know what it is? It's these, these are too thick long. They're too big. Is that noise? That is so loud. Um, this is lovely for, like, I'm getting ready with a friend. Oh, thanks. <laughs> that was the goal in mind. Like, I was hoping you might enjoy getting ready with me, but it's been a bit chaotic so far, if I'm being honest. I, wa I wanted it to be landscape so people could watch it back. This is so curly. And um, I've had door door drama where Benji wasn't answering the door and then I realised he he was at the door. Uh, this, uh, um, oh, my hair's, oh, hang on, I missed some comments. Costa or Starbucks Christmas drinks? Both. They both do good ones. Um, I'm glad it's not just me who struggles with getting bobby pins to stay put. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I just have the wrong ones, I think. Uh, my partner's gone to do the dog, the park run and I'm hoping he brings a Costa back. <laughs> I mean, I'm marrying a good egg, aren't I? It's tasty too. Um, looking forward to your Caribbean cruise as considering booking for next year. Cruise or Florida is a hard choice. It's a hard choice. They are very different and I'm going to cover them both pretty quick back to back. Um, Disney's becoming very expensive, I will say that. Like in comparison to the cost, I looked at the cost of our cruise and you can get quite a lot on a cruise in comparison to Disney but then Disney's a very different experience like you know you've got theme parks versus being on a cruise they're very different but I'm going to vlog them both so you'll see you'll see uh what else have we got here this is a bit wonky isn't it never mind uh looking uh, oh I, I've watched you since the old days when you used to work seven days a week so nice to see you just chilling for the weekend oh Thank you so much. Yeah, if you haven't been around since those days, I used to literally vlog my whole life, as in like every day. And I, that was such a wild time in my life. I used to do two jobs, but then I also did my YouTube channel. So technically three, because I used to do ads back then as well. But yeah, I feel, I never take it for granted that I get to be my own boss these days. Um, it's very lovely. And thank you for being with me for so long. What football team does Benji support? Uh, Bournemouth. He's a Bournemouth um, supporter. Favourite ride and worst ride in Disney? Favourite rides? A Big Thunder Mountain, Expedition Everest and Flight of Passage. Worst rides is Tiki Room. <laughs> it's not really a ride, but you know. Um, Figment. No. Um, other than that, it's not many worst rides, is there? They're the ones that stand out to me as like, no, thank you. What is going on? This is just not. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, congrats on your wedding dress. So excited for you. I bet you look stunning. Thank you, Amy. I had the best day. I honestly am so sad it's over, but I get to go back on Monday to try it on again. And I'm so glad I did that. Because I feel like if I just bought it there and then, I would have been like, oh. But I think it is the one. I just, oh, do I look at other shops? I don't think I want to. Is that better? Is that as frizzy? No, that will do. Uh, staying in Bournemouth this weekend, any recommendations? Oh, oh, Soarin', not one of my favourites. Uh, so, yeah, Soarin's one of my favourites. Uh, Soarin'd be up there in the top five. Bournemouth recommendations, um, oh my gosh, it really depends on like what you like doing. <laughs> um, 
I love a Ruber on the pier, even if you just go for a cocktail or a drink because the views are lovely and they've got heaters outside if it's chilly. Um, play mini golf. They've got a really cool mini golf right outside of Aruba on the pier. Walk along the beach, get fish and chips on the beach, uh, walk through the gardens. Um, yeah, have a great time, basically. Uh, any more Stitch Fix boxes? I haven't booked one, but I might because I really want some jeans. So I'm kind of thinking I feel more comfortable in, you know, my own home trying on a load of jeans. What do we think? Kind of tempted to order a Stitch Fix to do jean shopping, basically. So I might do that, let you know how I get on. Uh, have you ever been, had a bad cast member at a theme park when I went to Disneyland? They were all so lovely. I honestly haven't had a bad experience at all. I've never moaned about a cast member or had to complain at all. They've all been amazing um sometimes in paris they're a bit more blunt but that is more the culture and just language barriers and stuff but other than that i wouldn't say i've ever had a bad experience no i'm very lucky um we're going to uh mr mulligan's for crazy girl oh yeah that one's good too it's very busy because half term and it's a saturday um but it's inside so that's good if it's cold i'm gonna decide which brushes are gonna get washed for the cruise while i chat to you i'm gonna put aside the ones that i use the most um yes i second ms jeans yeah i have had ms jeans before maybe we should do in in the shops as well um favorite part of wedding planning so far gosh sorry these questions are kind of jumping all over the place but i hope you don't mind oh hang on i haven't turned off that favorite part of wedding planning um i can't say too much because i'm going to reveal i'm going to give stuff away um uh, that's hard for me to answer honestly I think like the when we locked in the date and we actually like put the deposit down and booked what we wanted was quite an exciting day because it kind of felt like a bit of a milestone day you know like oh my gosh it's happening it's all happening I'm just gonna get which brushes I want uh to wash I'm so excited for your Disney trip. Oh, thank you, Holly. Uh, I love your vlogs and I'm so excited to see you back in what Disney World. Thank you so much. Try Abercrombie jeans. Great stretch. I struggle on the bottom half. Do you know, I never thought for Abercrombie for jeans. I'm not going to lie, but I will have a look. Um, when would you say it's the best time to go to Walt Disney World? Not a big fan of the heat. Alex, this is something that I've been debating with my friends for a while because... I'm really good friends with Adam and Gary and Victoria, Disney in detail. And the three of them go to Disney like several times a year. Now, granted, this will be my second trip in a year, but that's not very common. It's only because I got the chance to go out on a press trip. But I would say for people that like don't go as regularly as they do, the heat is intense. It is, it is hot. It's getting hotter each year, I swear. And when I went in May... I said to Benj, I don't think I'll ever go back at that time of year ever again because it really was just too hot. I think that is, yeah, it can like make or break a holiday, especially when you're fair skinned and ginger and pale. Like for us, it's so hard, no. Um, we used to love September, October time, but my friends have gone out recently that have said it was hot then. So we're going for December this time, but I mean... Ask me again after this trip and I'll let you know the difference. Um, would you ever visit Disney Caribbean Beach again? No, I would not because there's way too many internal buses and it's so big. Although I haven't been since the refurb and I've heard that it's really nice since it's been refurbed. And there is the ca the um, Skyliner since I went. So maybe I'm being quite judgmental before I've given it another chance. But for me, it was just too much, too big. And I think there is such a thing as having like a too big resort. Um, just trying to decide on these final brushes um, that I'm taking to uh, the Caribbean on my trip. So I need to wash all these brushes today, I think. Some of them, I, I mean, these are all my foundation brushes. So I'll wash them all and I'll just take one. But I'm sure I've got another one. Well, I'm not going to wash them all because I just I don't use them all. I should probably do a declutter of these brushes, but never mind. Um, I went in June. The first week was 40 to 42 degrees. No, thank you. Uh, how's Bonnie? Bonnie is good, thank you, Elizabeth. She's good. She is um, down here with me. She's always just sitting and chilling with me. Oh, she just did a really big yawn. Let's see if I can show you how she's just down there. 
There she is, just chilling. Um, but yeah, she's good. Um, thank you for always brightening my day with your content, Brogan. So excited for the next two travel vlogs. Oh, thank you, Becca. I cannot wait to film them and share them. It's going to be so fun. Really, really, really excited about them both. Obviously, my brain is in Caribbean cruise mode right now. I cannot believe we get to go back. So yeah, I have been packing. I've started packing. Um, will you be having Bonnie as a flower girl? No, because we're getting married abroad. If I could bring Bonnie with me, pocket her up and carry her on the plane i would but um sadly no but we'll have to just do something when we get home maybe we can do a cute photo shoot with her or something what do you think bon do you want to be a flower girl <laughs> do you want to say hello to everybody do you want to say hello do you want to say hello no i'm just gonna lick my hand instead okay um are you going to have a hen do um I'm still undecided on that. I got asked that in my last Q&A and I I think I just want something really low key, like not like just like a nice meal or afternoon tea or something. I don't really want anything big. Right. You want to come up now, do you? Okay. Hang on. Let me pick you up then. Ready? Whoa. Getting heavier and heavier. Here we go. Oh, let me spin around. Here she is. <laughs> Look at her go um yeah hen do i don't want anything too intense too busy too many people i just want my closest friends and family there and i think because a lot of my friends are not all women i have a lot of um male friends as well so i think hen do's in my head traditionally like look a certain way you know like willy straws and stuff and we're just not about that are we bon we're just not it's just not our vibe personally don't want to do a night out don't want to go to the clubs <laughs> um so yeah I think that's what I would have if anyone's got any really great ideas for what you'd have if you have like a mixture of like friends and family then let me know look at her honestly you're actually she's an absolute queen you're gonna lick my face yeah thank you um everyone wants to say hello to you you are the star of the show that's it I can't multitask here um oh gosh <laughs> can't wait to see the revamp of the Disney Castle Hotel will you be covering when it opens is there an approximate date uh, Disneyland Paris, I would love to cover it. Um, I don't know. I don't think there is a date yet, is there? Don't think there's a date. But yes, I would love, love, love to go, depending on uh, timings and finances, because we'll see. We'd have to get a very good deal, wouldn't we? We'd have to get a good deal. <laughs> it's hard with Disney hotels, because you don't spend that much time in the hotel. Like, for me, I like to prioritise how close the hotel is to things. Um and that goes for Florida or Paris. Look at her paw. You are so sweet. You are so, so sweet. I love you. I do. I love you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I love you so much. Right, I do need two hands, though, because I need to read the comments. Um, Do a nice theatre trip and cocktail bar for Hindu. Yeah, that sounds like a nice day, doesn't it? I did bowling and then boozy afternoon tea. Have a spa day. That's a good idea. Hotel in Paris will open in 2024. Oh, wow. Well off then. Um, we had an afternoon tea at my mum's um, for my head and it was in the garden. It was so special. I love that. I love that. That sounds lovely. That's all I need. Just like low key. We did a boozy afternoon tea and then a cocktail master class and then to a cabaret bar. Oh, that sounds nice. Super gorgeous, Bonnie. Yes, she is super gorgeous. She is super gorgeous, but she's quite distracting. Yes. Look at her grey chin. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you got a little grey chin, haven't you? Yes, because you're getting older. <laughs> Should we put you down now, huh? Because you are you are very distracting, and I'm trying to answer comments. Um, I had a garden party hen fest. My hen do. Oh, that's what my friend did for hers. Um, I love that. Good morning, Brian. Getting ready to go to a community market. Oh, have a lovely day, Jenny. Two night cruise for a hen. Oh, wow. Two night cruise. That sounds genius. Hang on. Let's talk about that. Love you, Bonnie. Go on then. Whoops. She's going to want to get back up again now, aren't you? <laughs> two, night hen, two night cruise for my hen. Did a cruise once with 13 friends. It was amazing. We even got a limousine down to Southampton. Spa days and good food. Katie, that sounds amazing. Sorry, I've got Bonnie fluff in my face now. That sounds so great. Mmm. A two-night cruise, because then everyone has everything sorted, don't they? 
because when you try and do like trips abroad and stuff, you have to budget for like the food and the hotel and the flights. But if you went from Southampton, you could go somewhere. It'd feel a bit special. But then obviously it's still quite an expense for some people, which I'm aware of. Lovely. Bonnie has brought us a toy. You want this? Thank you. I've got fluff on her fur in my face now. Um, you should do a joint hen with Benj. My friends did theirs and called it a hux, hen and bucks. And then you can invite males and females. I like that, Jess. That's a really good idea. I think we would we we would consider something like that. How old is Bonnie? She's 11. And yes, Bonnie is amazing. I mean, I'm super biased, but she is amazing. Uh, pamper and craft day for a hen. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I organised a craft company to come and we made bunting, which we used to decorate the wedding. Look up craft and giggles. Oh, I love that. That is such a nice idea. I mean, we're not having a like wedding day, so, um, but I do love that idea. I think if I was invited, I've only been to one Hindu and um, I think that's why I'm struggling to like envision too many because I haven't really done much research into it. I went to an escape room and then an afternoon tea and then theatre trip to see Mamma Mia and then the next day we went to a spa all in London. Phew, that sounds amazing. It also sounds very expensive though. Like that's a lot of activities for my party to do. Um, have you ever been to a festival? Highly recommend Isla White Festival vlogs would be amazing. I have been to a couple of festivals because I used to work at some. Um, I don't love festivals. They're not for me. Every year I get press passes and invited to lots of the different festivals and I always politely decline because I'm not a festival gal, okay? I just don't like camping. I don't like, it has to be glamping. <laughs> I have to have a bed. I don't want to sleep in a sleeping bag. I've got too much of a bad back um and I don't really like the mud and stuff I'd rather go to a concert like rather than like a, a festival I'd go to, to the to the day in my wellies and a cute outfit and go and listen to some music but wouldn't stay um because Isle of Wight is not that far really for me uh good morning Gary you're awake and here this is my first YouTube live stream by the way and uh I've had a few technical glitches because I don't know how to make it landscape it would not let me so if you know how, let me know. But I don't know how many live streams you've done on YouTube. Um, yes, yeah, sorty to Gary, everyone. <laughs> uh, mm. This coffee is incredible. We find out the, I think she means sex, in two weeks. And we're going to do a gender reveal party. So excited. Oh, I actually have the best time. That's so exciting. What a special time in your life. Um, I have a friend that just told me she's pregnant. And I honestly... I'm bursting. I want to talk about it. I just love her so much. I'm so excited. Yes. This is constantly distracting me. Look, she's here. She's down here. Good girl. Very good girl. Thank you. Uh, I've been live for 58 minutes. So I'm probably going to wrap this up because this really has been quite long. We'll, I'll go in two minutes. So if <laughs> Bonnie is trying to jab me here. Do you want to come back up for the last two minutes? You can come back up. Say hello to everybody. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, um, it's 8.40 in the, in Melbourne now and it's morning there, huh? crazy. Yeah, it's the evening for you, it's the morning for us. Um, really want a girl but can't pick and choose, haha. <laughs> oh, Ashley, I hope that your pregnancy goes well and you have a lovely, healthy, happy baby. Long time viewer here, proud of you. Thank you, Molly. Um, this has been lovely. More live streams, please. Lovely to get the time oh thank you if you enjoyed it do let me know and i will do more once i figure out how to that was right in my mouth no not in the mouth not in my mouth i don't mind my nose but not in my no thank you that's enough um bonnie wants to be the star she does she does want to be the star um cloud nine straighteners are good although i do like my remington ones as well so i honestly think they all do a similar job that coffee is not yours that's not yours no it's not <laughs> Uh, love listening to you while doing university work. Oh, thanks. I uh, hope you uh, don't have to do too much work today on a Saturday, but sending you lots and lots of love. Oh, good. I'm glad you liked the live stream. <laughs> Thank you to all of you that joined. I didn't even say anything. I didn't know if YouTube would tell you I was live. I, yeah, I would like to do more. Um, can I ask you, do you have two wardrobes? Um, no, we have one big one in our bedroom, which we split in half, obviously. And then I have a very small, slim one here for my long dresses. Um, but yes, um, Bonnie wanting a chai latte, love her. <laughs> yeah, you're not having any chai latte, are you? 
Uh, so I've only just joined. Have you set a date for your wedding? Uh, it's 2024 and we'll share all the details very soon. But I have been live for an hour now. So I'm going to go. We're going to go because it has been an hour, haven't, hasn't it? And you want to cuddle on the sofa with me, don't you? Um, Jen, you should be able to watch it back, but I will do more. I was just sort of test running it on here this morning um, because <laughs> I thought it'd be quite fun and I didn't think there'd be too many people coming. And we've had about 300, which is really sweet. Um, can you watch this on catch up or does it disappear? I think you can catch up with it. I'm, I've never done it before, so we'll see. But thank you so much to all of you that did join. Um, we're going to go. <laughs> we're going to go. It's been lovely chatting. Thank you for your nice questions. And I don't know what video will be next week. I'm going to try and film Disney Dreamlight Valley this morning. <laughs> um, but I hope you all have a lovely day. And uh, yeah, thanks for your suggestions on everything. And um, we'll chat again very soon, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, have a lovely day, everyone. I'm going to try and figure out how to end this while I have a dog in my arms. Um, but yes, have an awesome day. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Sending lots of love, whatever you get up to. Sounds like you're all having nice chilled days or going pumpkin picking and that sounds nice. So yes, we'll let everyone say goodbye. Bonnie looks like she's in heaven, I know, right? Oh, she's gonna cough now. <laughs> Ugh. You right, Puppet? Good. <laughs> and on that note, we're off. <laughs> Speak to you soon. Bye.